Hi, this is TK Viper, and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use MIDI fretboard, an app for the iPhone and iPod Touch. This is version 1.4.2. So you can tap to start playing or shake for setup. We are now in strum mode. You'll see the sound hole, and this is where you strum. You have to leave a string to make a sound. So this will not make a sound. You gotta kinda release your finger very quickly or leave the string. Okay, that's got four frets on the neck right now. Just, you know, do your chord like this and then strum. It's got nine shortcut keys that you can program to help you jump to different fret positions. So, double tap to configure it. Just choose where you want to jump to from fret number 1 to 21, okay? And just tap it and you'll go to that fret. We're now at fret 15. Tap another one. We're at fret 5. If you swipe off of one, it's going to bar that fret. So we've barred fret 13. So that's why this is fret 14. Likewise, bar fret 21. This is fret 22. And you'll notice all the notes are higher. Because you're barring the whole fret like this. Okay, you can also change the different fret positions by using a MIDI fretboard instead of these shortcuts. So, shake your phone. Let's look at the setting page from the bottom up. So, choose how you want to change fret positions, either with shortcuts or a fretboard. So, let's tap on that. And you'll see the mini fretboard at the top here. Just slide anywhere and you go to that fret position. You can see the fret number changing as I'm sliding. See? Fret 14. If you hold down this bar button, it's going to bar it. So hold it down and then swipe the board. And now, and now I've barred fret 7. Now that's why this is fret 8. Okay? Uh, in this version, version 1.4.2, I've added a new mechanism to kind of lessen the chance of accidentally tapping on the fretboard. Before, when you tap it, it will jump to that fret position right away. But now, it doesn't. You have to hold it down for about a quarter of a second, and then it'll jump to there. You see that? If I do it quickly, like an accidental tap, it's not going to happen. So that's kind of a new feature in this version. Okay? But if you swipe, you don't have to wait. As soon as you start swiping, it's going to detect it. Just for taps, you gotta hold it down for 0.25 seconds to kind of prevent accidental taps on this one while you're playing the, the sixth string on top here. Okay, now let's shake the phone and look at other features here, other settings. Here is the fade out timer. You can fade out all notes or you can just fade out the open notes. Okay, and then you set the fade-out timer to whatever you want. I've got it to uh, 4 point, uh, 0.44 seconds. So notice how as soon as I strum it, it's going to stop all the notes after 0.44 seconds. Okay, those are open notes. If I have my hand here on the fret, those two notes will remain because they're not faded out. But if you choose to fade out all notes like that, then everything gets faded out. You see that? Okay. Let's go back up here. And this only works in strum mode. Okay. Now we're going to uh, look at the timer for... Uh, not the timer, the time limit for hammer-ons and pull-offs. So if you want to do hammer-ons and pull-offs, you have to do it within 0.25 seconds, a quarter of a second. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So, like this. Too slow. Too slow. That's okay if you're going fast. Let's go here. If you set this bar all the way to the right, then you're going to enter tap on mode. And that means you no longer need to strum. 
as you can see, the fretboard now has five frets instead. And just tap anywhere. And it's slide capable. You can slide. Even vertically. Which is pretty cool for making some uh, really crazy uh, synth sounds. Okay. So let's uh, shake it again to look at other settings. You can choose whether you're a right hander or a left hander. You can apply a capo up to the eighth fret. And then you can control the key velocity. That means how hard you're hitting the strings. Okay, you can set it at a fixed value, like right now, 96. Or you can swipe it all the way to the left, and now it's going to say control by x-axis. That means when you tilt the x-axis like this, it's going to control how hard you're hitting the string. When you're facing the phone upwards, it's going to be as if you're lightly strumming. If you go this way, it's going to be as if you're strumming hard. Okay? And the next setting is for bending the pitch by tilting the y-axis. So like this. Okay, if you set it to no, it won't bend. If you set it to yes, it will bend. And let me show you. From 0 to 45, there's no bend. But from 45 to 90, it's going to bend two notes. And from 0 to negative 45, it's going to bend down two notes. And the key velocity, look at it. It's going to be very soft. Very hard. Much softer, right? And that is the key velocity and pitch bending mechanism in this app. So let's shake it again and look at the next setting. Uh, the next setting is for tuning your guitar. So tap on that. There are 49 guitar tuning presets. And for bass guitar, we have support for four string, five string, and six string bass guitars. You can see the X's there. They indicate that the string is not visible. So basically, this is a four string bass guitar. This is a five string bass guitar. And if we scroll down, this is a six string bass guitar. Okay, the next section is for bass guitar when used with Guitar Pro. Guitar Pro 6 is a notation program that lets you write down your ideas in standard notation or guitar tablature. So use these tuning presets when you're using Guitar Pro 6, not the ones up here. Okay, the next section will give you uh, three tuning presets for ukulele, and then this one is for banjos. You got four string and five string banjos. The next one is for sitars. A real sitar has seven strings. This app only has six. So the first tuning will give you strings 1 to 6, the second one will give you strings 2 to 7. And finally we have our miscellaneous tunings. Uh, we got violin, cello, shamisen, which is the Japanese guitar, and the sanshin, which is the Okinawa version of the shamisen guitar. And if you tap on a tuning with X's, it's going to kind of hide those strings. So now we have a 3 string Japanese guitar. Okay, let's shake again to go back into settings and let's go back to a guitar setting. Okay, next, ring out built in sounds. That means uh, if you pluck a note, it's going to continue the note until the end of the note if you're playing the built in sounds. Okay, if you say no, it's going to stop the note as soon as you let go of the fret. And this is only good when you're playing the slap bass guitar, which uh, has very short notes. Okay, and the last thing you can set is the built-in sounds. Now you can play these sounds anywhere you are. You don't need a computer. They are built-in, so you can play them in public anywhere you are. And it has classical guitar, uh, acoustic guitar, banjo, Chinese guzheng, which is a harp, dulcimer, grand piano, Japanese koto, samisen, sitar, and uh, slap bass, and also ukulele. You can play those sounds anywhere. Right now, I'm not playing the built-in sounds. I am playing the sounds in GarageBand, which is running on my Macintosh computer. 
every Mac comes with GarageBand, and GarageBand has about 70 to 80, you know, really good sounds that you can play with, you can control using this app here. Just uh, run the DS MIDI Wi-Fi server on your Mac, which lets the phone communicate with your computer, with any software on your computer that accepts MIDI signals. Okay, so for example, like uh, uh, GarageBand, Logic by Apple, Reason by Propellerhead, Core and Contact by Native Instruments, and Ableton Live. Those are very popular uh, software for uh, creating music. There are some few, uh, there are some uh, free ones out there too, like Moo Tools, which uh, work, uh, which works for both Windows and Macs, and Anvil Studios for Windows. They're free. You can check them out. They come with 40 to 50 different instruments you can play with. So right now I'm using GarageBand, and it's got some awesome sounds. It has about 70, 80. You can buy additional sounds. They're called jam packs for about 90. $99. I recommend the, the world package. It gives you all these world instruments from China, India, all over the place. Okay, finally, if you have questions about this app, tap on the first icon here, the globe, and that will bring up online resources. You can ask questions, you can check out all the videos I have there. Now the second button will give you the built in text manual very brief and here you can email your friends about this app you can Facebook about this app and finally if you have time please do rate this app so other people will get a chance to know how powerful this app is uh, you can also check out my other apps here so please do so when you have time alright I think uh, I've talked about everything for this version I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it's helped you how to use it uh, one more announcement is that I'm making an iPad version of this app and it's basically like this with 11 frets on the fretboard so it's definitely much better for playing solos and for playing guitar pieces where you have to move your hand up and down the, the fret the fretboard okay so I'll see you next time please rate comment and subscribe to this channel and tell your friends about this channel thanks a lot